Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel here today, and we're back from the Walking Dead Season 4 video. And today, my friends, a time changes a lot of things, and it looks like the Garcias are one of that case. About a month ago, I made a video talking about the Garcias not returning because we had gotten word from Telltale at E3, even asked a question on the IGN panel that will we see more of Javier, and they said no, we will not be seeing the Garcias in this season. But Based on what I've been seeing, a lot of tweets being sent to me, a lot of information, leaks, stuff, it it's starting to look like, you know, Telltale may be, you know, I shouldn't say lying, but they're kind of dodging the bullet, the question on this one. So, if you guys do enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe if you are new. Let's go for 750 likes, and comment down below what you guys think of this. This is very interesting. I'm going to go through a lot in this video, so sit back, get the popcorn, relax, and let's get straight into the video. I hope you guys do enjoy. So before I start this, I want to give a shout out to Walking Dead Game Clementine. Walking Dead Clement Lee, thank you. I'll put your link in the description down below or Twitter. He or she's Twitter. I'm not going to assume genders. So what this post was, this is from Shelly Shinoy, the voice actor for Kate Garcia from The Walking Dead New Frontier. So she is one of the Garcias. So she says, you get paid to talk. Your life must be pretty damn amazing, says one of my favorite directors slash producers on the gig. Smiles at me. I look at him. Doesn't everyone. He paused, laughed, touche. And it shows her in a voice recording room. So what is it for? people want to know oh it might be for Kate so Walking Dead Clement Lee asked the following I love your voice Kate but I know this is for me for the, for the Walking Dead don't tell me it's for a flashback I want to see you and the rest of the Garcias in the present much crying emojis and she liked the comment and then they commented maybe for the Walking Dead and she liked the comment and yay like the comments so it starts to kind of come together that these likes might mean more than just you know maybe she is doing a voice recording for a potential flashback for Kate now she did uh, also have another thing here we're gonna go through right now so let's go straight into that one so you guys can info on Nat so this is just the proof that they had asked the questions these were the questions that I just went through so what I'm going to be showing you guys next is even more people asking about, you know, the Garcias on these Instagram posts. And then I'm going to be going through something else that, you know, has been coming up a lot in my comments section. So that's just the questions. You want to go pause right now, but those are the questions I actually asked them how she liked them. So let's go straight into those. So this is from a while back, you know, maybe a month or two, but it's kind of the same Instagram post messaging Shall I Shunot again. So the per this uh, walking to come late asked the following about the Garcias maybe showing up and sh Kate and Shelly Shinoy in this case commented uh, I think you're just going to have to play to find out with a winky and a glass glasses emoji so kind of makes you think you know a return is likely so let's go in to the next one and this post was made about 14 weeks ago asking well, we see how having the other Garcias, and I think you're just going to have to play to find out with a, you know, glasses and all that, and don't play with our emotions. So, there's a chance. I'm not going to guarantee it, so let's go through what I think of this now. We've seen all this. Let's go through it. So, if you want to pause, it's right there. So, a lot of things have been brought up in this. We saw these Instagram posts. There was also a list that the Walking Dead Rose Survival brought up that potentially even considered Javier a returning character. Now... Ever since I made that video last month talking about the guarantee that they weren't going to return, I had a feeling Telltale didn't, you know, they might have just meant in, like, in in the present. They never mentioned, that this, there was never strictly a question asking, hey, are they going to be in the game, but, you know, show up in a flashback? They never strictly asked the question, hey, can, we, can they show up in flashbacks? No one said anything about that. So that's why I think what Telltale meant in this interview is that, when they said no the Garcias will not be returning maybe they meant just in the present and that the Garcias could potentially make a slip into the flashback Clementine might have a flashback maybe after the events at the McCarroll Ranch Clementine goes back to Richmond and something may have happened with this new villain group or maybe it's overrun with walkers or something again and she finds Javier and Kate dead or something like that or Javier Kate and Gabe dead it, it could be something along those lines I think personally, if there is a flashback, it's going to show the Garcias is dead. Because I don't think with all the determinancies 
and also with uh, you know Javier being the only one really really alive I don't think they can really fill out this season with quote unquote many returning characters because remember we only had uh, con confirmation at least two to three some there's not gonna be like four or five if the Garcias come back depending on some of our endings we could have three potentially three Garcias alive and with Jesus maybe already being a confirmed returning character that gives you at least four returning characters already and I don't know if Telltale is going to bring that many back so it makes sense to me that the Garcias would just show up in a flashback you know based on our past choices who we had alive uh, it would make perfect sense if they bring back everybody alive then in the present then they're kind of flip-flopping on their oh we'll have some returning character but that's actually four is a pretty significant amount in my opinion now Remember, for example, if we only have Javier and Gabe alive, that gives us only three. But you're guaranteed to have Javier and some other Garcia with them. And then the other one, you could have just Kate and uh, Kate and Gabe. And then you can also have David and Gabe. So there's a lot of interesting circumstances we can have with this. I still do not think the Garcias are going to return in the present. I think if we do see them, the flashback, what happened to Richmond, bringing AJ over there for baseball, I think... To at least give a satisfying conclusion to the season three players that have been complaining why they got cut out of the game, it makes sense to me that you know that they would do this. But it's crazy how in the uh, blink of a month things have changed from us, you know, guaranteeing that they're not going to be in the game at all, to maybe even them showing up in a potentially in a flashback. I'm not going to say Telltale lied when they said in E3 that you know the Garcias weren't returning when James Lerner said no, they're not. And when the other guy at Telltale said, no, they're not. I'm not going to guarantee maybe things change, flip-flop. They're not done completely with episodes 2 and 4. Like I said, if you talk about my video with longer episodes, they're still working on this game. So there's potential they could still add them in. But I believe in episode 1, we will get a flashback to explain the time that had passed. There's no way Telltale is going to do what The Walking Dead Season 2 did and just skip like 16 to 18 months and not give us a quote-unquote satisfying... Uh, backstory to what happened in the following months because if this has been a three to four year time skip this has been one of the longest time skips the walking dead games done before season two to three was pretty long too and all they really did was explain that in poor flashbacks if we get a flashback in this we need a better kind of flashback and more of explore explanatory flashback not just one that's you know going to give us a quick five minute oh javier died off screen kind of thing like kenny have, uh, Kenny gets bitten by walkers. You know that we want an explanation, like who attacked what, how did they die, or do we just leave them? Do we say we're never coming back? You know, did they turn evil. Does something like that happen? I, I don't know. All our possibilities. You know, so that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. There's also been lists, like I said, talking about Javier as a returning character. I mean, it could just be only Javier, guys. And if they come back in the present. It's only going to be Javier. They will not bring the determinant characters back. If if one of them, actually, Garcia, actually does show up in the game in the present, it will only be Javier. It will not be Kate. It will not be Gabe. not be David. Dead in too many endings, guys. So, I'll give you a chance of them coming back in the present, probably 10%. I cannot see it, really. Very unlikely. Flashback? I give you a 50-50. Based on all the news we've been hearing, it almost gives me a guarantee that this will happen. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure you like, subscribe if you are new. What do you guys think of the potential that Garcia is returning? I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think it's going to happen. But some news is starting to kind of shift my mind. We're only almost less than 30 days from release, so we will find out very soon if we get any mention of him in a flashback or in the present. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please make sure you like, subscribe if you are new. And comment down below what you think of this. Will season three choices matter? That's this is what a big emphasis of this uh, decision is. If season three choices actually going to come back to, you know, make a huge impact in this. So thank you all for watching, and we'll catch y'all next one. Peace and love.